Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to Let's Play Better Minecraft. Let's pick ourselves a seed and let's get explaining. I'm gonna randomly choose this. You ready? Okay, I just spammed on my keyboard and I will come back whenever it's loaded in. Dude, this looks so nice. I don't even know. I, I literally have no idea what's going on. So here's the thing. Better Minecraft is basically a very big vanilla plus mod pack. So if you don't like modded Let's Plays, I think this is going to be the first modded Let's Play that you fall in love with. It's not going to be so much about the mods as it is a continuation of Minecraft's updates and what the game could be if Mojang would listen to the fans. So, uh, so just spawning out, guys, we literally have blue trees, which is exactly what I would... I mean, I really like blue trees. I'm going to make it my point in this Let's Play to not use any default wood types, okay? That's the, that's one thing. Another thing to note is that I don't know what anything does in this. I, I literally, I, I have no idea. So I'm right there with you and that we're not going to know together what is going on, which is a great thing. Let's fix this FPS. There we go. Much better FPS. Just moved it from 20 chunks to 16. I will run slash seed if you guys want to come on the seed. There, you can take a screenshot of it. But yes, this is basically, so there's tons of things that, that like in this mod pack that Mojang said they would add at some point and developers got tired of hearing it and they just added it. So you can see at the bottom of the screen, there's a little star over these items. And when you hover over them, it disappears. Whenever you get a new thing in your inventory, since they recognize that this is modded and you might not know what's going on, they're gonna help you out. So of course, I know everyone says this, but we're gonna do the thing, get a little bit of wood, and we can start on our journey. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen in this Let's Play. All I know is that I was getting a little bit bored of vanilla Minecraft, so I wanted to switch it up, play a vanilla plus mod pack, and hopefully the people that like vanilla Let's Plays will enjoy this, because it's very similar to Minecraft. It's not like those modded those mod packs have, have a bunch of machines and stuff like that. It's all stuff that seems like it would fit in Minecraft, like a different color crafting table, a pine crafting table. Now, this big old menu you see on the side is basically a better version of this recipe book. So you know how you can search for recipes and stuff in here? Well, this essentially is that, just a little bit better. So if I wanted to look up all the stuff that pine wood can make, you can see all of these right here. So we could make a pine chair if we wanted to, for example. We're going to be able to make some nice looking houses, dude. Like, I'm... <laughs> look at that. The, the items actually stay on the crafting table and they rotate towards you. Like, that's so... And it, t it tells you what it's going to craft above there. So we can, like, make little crafting stations and leave recipes in there. Like, oh, dude, I have so many cool ideas for this. So let's go ahead and just get some base tools here. I'm going to gather up a little bit more pine wood. I really like the pine wood. Um, I guess it was from a... Oh, these trees are a little bit bigger. We'll use our uh, baobab logs. It sounds like a, m maybe an Asian wood. Maybe like a Taiwanese wood. I'm really not sure, man. If someone knows, let me know. Uh, but just adding more wood types and stuff like that. Oh, we just cut down the whole tree. We just cut down the whole tree. Okay, don't mind me. Let me break this real quick. Hold on. Okay, this is truly painful, <laughs> but I finally broke the whole thing. So I think we have tree feller, which means when you mine like a tree, the entire thing will break. And look, the leaves fell onto the ground. You see what I mean? It's just little changes like that. Now, obviously, it didn't get the whole tree, which is okay. We can go back and get that eventually. But, like, the leaves fell onto the crown. Oh, it's so cool. One thing I have to show you off the bat. Now, I haven't really played this at all, so I truly don't really know anything. The only thing I know is from watching a Let's Play and this. Look at that. There's splash. The, y your character splashes. Like, why? <laughs> Isn't that, isn't that cool? Look. Oh, I guess you have to you have to fall from a large height. Oh, dude. That's so sweet. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to be learning together. This is a learning experience. And if you guys want to help me in the comments, feel free. I, I would love your help. But let's go over to this beautiful blue forest. Let's check out what this wood type is because I'm really kind of curious. We might need to make another axe. The reason our axe already broke was because it, like, simulated mining that whole tree. So maybe we want to make a couple of these. And I'm glad that we have these. Oh no, we don't have any pine saplings. Hmm. That's really weird. Because I thought we broke a pine tree, but uh, I don't know. It's okay. Whatever wood types we have to work with, I am fine with. But I am curious, like, what are these? So these are blue enchanted... So, these, so this is like an enchanted forest, I suppose. Oh, this is so cool. 
So the Biomes mod is called Oh the Biomes You'll Go, which is like, I guess, a, a better Biomes of Plenty. I really have no idea. Ooh, the for the autumn forest is over there, but isn't this so cool, man? I don't know if I want to live in here, but I definitely think it is very beautiful. But I don't... Mm, maybe I do want to live... What are you? Tasmanian Devil. Okay. I'm going to guess that you're not very friendly, but you are you are pretty cute. But he didn't attack us, so we're not going to we're not going to assume that he's mean off the bat. But we're definitely not going to like uh we're not going to make friends with him. So let me explore around a little bit. I'm going to find a cool spot for us to land and start making a base. I'm sure something who was this. I'm just going to say I'm sure something will speak to me eventually. So there's a lot more stuff to explore too. And look at that, waterfalls actually emit particles, which is pretty cool. So it actually looks like flowing water. Now what are you? Are you just a, a mass of stone? Or do you have a purpose? Do you have a greater purpose? I'm not sure. But you can see in the top left corner, you see the progress bar as I'm breaking a block. You see how it... Oh, isn't that cool? So I'm going to guess there's nothing in there. But it is a nice little structure just to have spawn. Maybe an old civilization lived... Ooh, dude, what is this? Is that a bridge? <laughs> is that in the terrain gen? Is just, just spawning a bridge between land masses? If so, that's beautiful. Well, what is this? Prairie grass. So you don't get anything from it, which is fine. I wasn't really expecting to. But being able to just run through a prairie... That's pretty sweet, man. I mean, this whole world is just looking crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy. So I did opt for no shaders. I feel like this is already different enough from vanilla Minecraft. You guys didn't need shaders as well. Mini melons? Um, uh, yeah, I think I will take some mini melons. That sounds delicious. Now, do I eat the whole melon? Because that's like as big as Steve's head. Do, they, do you really eat the whole melon? No, you don't. Can you craft it into... Oh, I see. So you crafted into mini... I almost really like those, but we do need food. We are playing on hard mode, so we can die if we don't eat enough. So we're definitely going to make sure and eat. Now, my question is, does this spawn naturally? Did a bridge spawn between two, like, areas that were separated by water? Because, like, in this instance, it didn't really spawn right. But I could see that looking super cool in some situations. And like that's, a, you know, we could find a bridge like this and fix it up. We could live in the bridge. So this is in 1.19.2. So it is in the newest version of, oh, what is that? It is in the newest version of Minecraft, which is really cool as well. So we have all the 1.19.2 features. I don't know what that is over there, but I don't know where to live. Ooh, what's this? Okay, we're going to go over to this structure. So next time you see me, I will be over closer to that thing. It looks like a house. Okay, I'm not closer to the house yet, but look at all these beautiful flowers, man. Look at all these beautiful flowers. And it says we're on a server, but really we're on single player. And, you know, I knew I saw a house, but I didn't... Uh, I saw a house on the hill. Yeah, I saw whatever that is. I don't know if that's something we really want to go to quite yet. But I do see this house, and I'm wondering, what it, what is this? Is this like a little house on the prairie? Are you Are you guys friendly? What do you have? A zeal lighter and a blue journal, which requires a book. Hmm, maybe that's something we want to work toward. No, I don't want to, like, steal stuff from them, because I, I want to be friends with the inhabitants of the world. Now, they do have some bread. Some moonstone shards. Oh, you know what we could do? We're going to steal his book and trade it to him, because this looks like an information book, so I'm curious what this is. Okay. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I don't... Something happened. So a cool thing is we have quests in here, you can see. And there's a bunch of new dimensions. So we have the Ever Bright, the Ever Dawn, the Twilight Forest. Obviously, we have the end. And then we have the other side, which is like where the Warden is from. So this is like the deep, dark dimension. But in the overworld, there's a few basic quests. Looks like we get an animal dictionary and another book. And that was from just starting the world. And, uh, this is Craft a Backpack is one of the quests, but obtain a blue journal. I don't know what this is. I really don't, I, I don't, I don't know what it is, but we did get some XP. And we should probably look at these books. So the start of a new adventure. Welcome to Better Minecraft. This mod pack does not focus around quests. Uh, okay, cool. And then the animal dictionary. So these are all the new animals it adds to the game. We have bears, different kinds of birds, a blobfish. 
And you can even click into it and look at it. But look how many animals are in the game. What is this? A guster? Guster? That reminds me of Buster. <laughs> well, this is the cool, dude. There's so many new things. What is that? A farseer? So they actually did add copper golems in. Now, I'm not sure if those are in here or what. Oh, no. It's starting to be dark. I may use your house, good sir, for at least a little bit here. Um, we can look at crafting a backpack, but I'm pretty sure I do not have the required materials for a, a backpack. But we can look. We need a rabbit hide. It doesn't look like you can use any other kind. Iron and string. Quite the interesting requirements to use rabbit hide, but okay. Now I am going to have to uh, usurp your bed here, my good s sir. Looks like that doesn't work in better Minecraft. So what do we do? Look, double doors open at the same time. Isn't that nice? So I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. Maybe we should fight through the night, but I really don't want to die. Maybe we'll go check out this house. Now, I know it's a little bit dark, so we're going to take a lantern. I'm sorry, Mr. Villager. I didn't mean to uh, I didn't mean to steal your lantern here. Um, oh, we don't, do we not have fancy lights? No, that's my favorite thing. Oh, uh, so I am playing the 1.19.2 Forge version. Okay, are you friendly, Mr. Grizzly Bear? You you look pretty cool. God, those Tasmanian devils make some weird noises. So he has a baby near him. Okay, we're just gonna back up. You know what? You can have a lantern. Look at that. Look at all that light now. Now you can see around you. Don't you like that? <laughs> okay, let's see if we can sleep. I assume that there's another villager in here. Right, oh, there's no one in here. Does this mean we can claim this is our own? I, I don't want to. I'm also not going to take. That's too much food off the bat to just steal. I, w I want to be able to work towards all that stuff. Okay. I don't want to steal their stuff. If I'm going to use their bed, I might as well not steal their stuff, right? Ah, the second day on Better Minecraft. And it feels better than the first. Waking up to a beautiful autumn forest. I don't know what that house is over there. It doesn't look like it spawned very well. And honestly, it looks like kind of like a witch's house, if, if, if I'm honest with you here. Um... It's not really something I, I really want to go to at this current time, but we can mark that on our map. You can see in the top right corner we have a mini map, and we can press M to open said map. Um, is that a woodland mansion that we had seen? Or something similar? I, I think so. And it looks like over here, you could click right here, and we could click uh, open, open waypoint menu. Maybe there's a press W. Oh, create waypoint. We're going to call this uh, creepy purple thing <laughs> we're gonna just leave that there so now we have a waypoint over there creepy purple thing and i'm gonna turn off the actual waypoints on the uh physical screen because those drive me crazy one sec and there we go that was super simple so it's still on our map creepy purple thing and you can see it in the top right corner up there the c and uh yeah so we'll go look at that at some point but i think for right now i'm going to avoid it i'm also going to avoid those pillagers it looks like there's a lot of new structures. The world is living a lot. But look, it's a different themed woodland mansion. So yes, it may be rare, but also this might be a cracked seed. This looks kind of beautiful down here. Oh, look. We have different colored pigs. Huh, that's really cool. I guess I've seen cows. And why are you up here? Do you think it's okay for you to just be creeping around like this? Especially in the middle of the day? Okay, so we, we killed our first mob. I'm not so sure where he came from, but I'm a little concerned. I guess it was just recently dark. We need to find a place to call home and soon, because I don't want to be running around forever without a home. Uh, I am curious, does the splash get bigger, the, the, the taller the jump? I don't know, because I'm underwater. I guess that's a good point. I can't really see it now, can I? Okay, it might be useful for us to get sugar cane. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. Now, I wonder, did they... No, okay, they didn't change something like that. I see another bridge over here, but I also see a bridge over here, and it looks like it's between a river or something. Yeah, look at that. It's it's kind of in between two land masses. Although, to be fair, they're, they're kind of not really separated because there's land around them, but... The game does try to spawn these bridges, which is super cool. I'll, I'll just add that... Oh, is that a blue orchid? Wild flax, okay. Well, we don't need any flax at the moment. I'm going over here because it looks like this is a tall pine area, and I really like the look of that pine wood. So let's see if we can't make ourselves a little bit of a boat, and uh, assuming it makes us, look at that, dude. That wood makes us a pine boat. <laughs> That's so cool. 
go ahead break this bad boy and let's head over there and see what we can't get ourselves into okay so something's catching my eye and it's this is this a geode or is this just like a a round rock I feel like mining in from the very top is, is going to be the best idea. It says it's deep slate, so we're, we're, we're already in the stone age. Is it just a big deep slate rock, or is there something more to this? I, I really don't know. Also, can we, can we go ahead and just make stone tools? I do like how it adds a little star to all the new items that go in your inventory. That way, when you break something and you pick it up, you're not like, what is this? Because now you'll actually get to know if we can make a stone pickaxe. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Wood Pickaxe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a great funeral. I'm going to bury you in one block of dirt. There you go. Goodbye, good sir. There's also a lot of little rocks in the dirt and stuff like that. It just looks good. It just looks good. But I am curious. I think this might just be, as I suspected, I'm pretty sure it's just a hole. I don't think there's anything fancy about it. But hey, it's a substitute for stone, and we don't have stone tools yet, so this wasn't a total loss. We did get to explore the little stone sphere that could. I'm not sure what it was, but I, I don't want to live in you either. I, honestly, I'm I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of good on that. We didn't pick up our crafting table, did we? Oh no, yes we did. We made a we made a pickaxe here. Probably want to make an axe as well, because we definitely need to put some roots down. Our inventory, sorry, we're not going to bury you, my guy. I, I only like pickaxes. I don't like axes. Unless I need wood. Okay, let's go check this out. So this is like, I guess, what what biome could... Ooh, look, it's like stone dirt. And stone grass. Like, in, in, in the real world, some places, like, like some places where I used to go fishing in Canada, it was just moss on top of stone. There was no dirt. There really wasn't... There was no dirt. It was just stone undergrown dacite oh this is beautiful okay well i really want to find more of this so we're gonna go deeper and deeper into this what does this stone look like oh, let's see so you get dacite cobblestone so then we could look it up for example if you're confused what can you make out of dacite well you can make all the normal things looks like all the ores turn into those as well you can make a post and one thing that i think is really cool that you guys may not understand and it's going to blow my mind. I'm pretty sure there's sideways slabs or vertical slabs. I don't know how to make them work. <laughs> so we'll figure that out at some point. But there's vertical slabs, which is really cool. So we can put slabs on their side and make walls. Stuff like that. I think that could be really interesting. Wild mushrooms. Ooh, okay. Can you eat those? No, but maybe we'll pick them up and, and we'll start farming mushrooms. You never know, man. You never know what adventures will, will be had. So we might as well pick up a few things along the way. Was that a hot air balloon? Do we want to live in a hot air balloon? Probably not. Holly berry leaves. Okay. I don't really like sweet berries. They don't seem like a great source of nutrients. Um, you eat them and then 30 seconds later you have to eat them again. So it's almost like a curse if you start eating those. Oh, a little well as well. A well as, as well. <laughs> what are you? I don't... What is that? Really? Look at the top left corner. What in the world? Really? That's interesting. So they have dog breeds. Huh. I, I guess it's like, a, it's like one of those meme... Those meme things the youngins are talking about. I don't see where the hot air balloon went. I'm sure it's somewhere. But again, I'm going to look around the world. I'm going to find somewhere to put our roots down. And we're going to live, man. Is this place... Oh, there's a there's a creepy tower over there. Hmm. Do we want to live inside of a wall? Probably not right now. But I do really like this area. I think this area looks beautiful. We have a hot air balloon in the background. And it looks like a couple of structures to explore. So maybe we did find our area. We might just need to flatten it a little bit. It's a little crazy looking at the moment. But I almost want to leave some of the floor materials like how they are. Because I kind of like how the floor isn't just straight grass. There's some stone around in it. And I do see the skeleton. And I don't really like this. So let's go kill you before you cause too much trouble. Oh, there's a cave here we can go into. Okay. I, I don't have a sword, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that looks like a really big cave. And it looks like it's a lush cave as well. Okay. And some coal, too. So, I'm going to start gathering wood. I'm not going to use any vanilla wood types in this series. Like I said, 
I'm gonna stick to purely new woods. Which might be interesting. If I break this, is it gonna break the whole thing? Yeah, max tree size 100. Let's leave that old spruce tree. Let's only break these smaller ones, these Hollywoods. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. It's so much better than the usual tree feller that just basically makes the whole thing instantly disappear. Like, that's so much cooler, isn't it? I gotta watch that again. Oh, dude. Oh, it's so cool. And hey, look, it, it's a it's a double-edged sword in a good way because we're getting sweet berries to eat as well. Maybe they're a curse, but they're the only food source we have at the moment. So we should be grateful, right? Uh, we are getting the holly saplings as well. So we want to make sure and plant these back. Um, we can just kind of plant these around where we broke the tree. I assume these leaves kind of just decay over time. Looks like they're really easy to just kind of break as well. But I will plant them back, okay? We're not going to deforest the whole area. Not plant it back. Okay. So I don't know how much wood we're really going to need, but that's two. That's so cool. Oh, Mojang. Why can't you add things like this? I'm not saying Mojang needs to add all this stuff. But they could add so much more to the game than they do. Like, the 1.19 update was just a big disappointment. I think everyone can agree. Oh! <laughs> Almost drowned in leaves. I never thought I'd say that. Never thought I'd say it. So you can't plant it on there. It looks like the tree was grown there, but I can't replant it there. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe it was there for thousands of years before me. I do have a lot of saplings, so maybe I'll put more than I broke around. I mean, that's the goal, right? You want to you, you want to spread the forest out to be as big as you, uh, or to be bigger than you took from it. Okay, so let me get some plans made for a house. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to build this yet, but I do know I want to flatten this area out just a little bit. So I'm going to be taking from a few of these stones around here. And, uh, yeah. You know, I just realized is it's becoming dark, and I don't have any sort of, uh, I don't have any sort of bed. I have nothing of the sort. Um, you know, there's a hot air balloon in the sky, and that's great and all. It's kind of taunting me because it's going to be safe tonight. I might be in a little bit of danger. I might be I might be entering the danger zone here, guys. With no way out, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> so maybe maybe we'll make a little a little uh maybe we'll go in the cave. Or better yet, we could just go over here and maybe we can just dig into the side of this for just a bit and maybe we can become a, qua a cave dweller just temporarily. Because I have, I have no, I have nowhere to store things, so maybe we do need to stop for a moment and uh, get some storage. Now, what color is Hollywood? Oh, it's kind of nice. It's kind of funny to call it Hollywood, but it is indeed what it is. Okay, we'll put a door here. Now I understand that it's dark, so let me make myself. Let's see if we can use this. Sorry, my dog just like burped or something. <laughs> uh, okay, we can probably make this into. I assume some charcoal. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make this area a little bit bigger. And then I'll come back in just a sec. And lucky for me. I actually just struck some coal. But I really need to make myself probably a double chest. Just to store some stuff up. So we'll put that over here. And uh, you know what? We're just going to go with a block chest for right now. We'll make two chests. We'll make a block chest. And we'll make an items chest. But there is some coal there. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping this thing won't cave in on me. I don't know. Did they make it realistic with the physics? Probably not. I don't think they do something like that. But let's go ahead and stop this. We probably don't need to waste any more of our wood. And uh, we can probably make ourselves a few torches here as well. I wish there was fancy lighting. And maybe that's something I can get in the future. Well, actually, let me look in the settings. Because I know the fabric version of this mod pack does that. But the fabric mod pack version of this is a little bit further away from what Minecraft would be compared to the Forge version. At least from some trusted sources here. Oh no, okay. I gotta get a pickaxe. <laughs> I, okay, maybe not like that. That would not be wise. Look at that dude, isn't that cool? Just little tiny things. Just a better version of Minecraft, arguably, right? The vanilla is always special, but it's always nice to switch it up. I know a lot of other YouTubers were playing this a while ago, and I don't know why I didn't. Cause I'm really having fun. Okay, so a block chest, and then we should probably make ourselves maybe just a single... No, I probably want two item chests as well. Okay, so I'm definitely prepared. I made a lot of extra tools. 
And I'm not sure how much exploration and, uh, or sorry, how much building we're going to be doing tomorrow. But it's still a little bit dark to be building. Now, it looks like the stars are almost kind of twinkling or something. Yeah, some of them are kind of twinkling, which is interesting. I did also hear the caw of a bird. I'm going to go inside before I get wrecked. I don't think that's a good idea to stand out there at night. And uh, we'll just kind of wait till the morning. I will mine this coal vein. Uh, but that's a, probably about all I'm going to do for the rest of the night, guys. Honestly, I'm kind of tired. I might rest on the stone cold floor. Now, I just noticed something in my inventory. It was these three exclamation marks right here. And they're telling me to click this. And this is the blue skies. So this journal is written to assist newcomers in their journeys across the ever bright and the ever dawn worlds. If something has unique functionality, chances are I've written about it in this book. Okay, so we're not going to go to those worlds quite yet. But it, on the quests over here, I assume it kind of tells you how to do that. Like how to get to the Everbright. Portal blocks can be found in or outside the gatekeeper's house. And I'm pretty sure he gave us them. I'm pretty sure that's what those are. We're not going to go there yet, right? We're, we're going to do this in chapters. We're going to... We're going to take this slowly, okay? We're not going to be going too fast. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what those are. And I don't even know how to build the portal, but you can see all the stone has different textures. Like, some stones you can see have, like, real... Like, you can see how this stone texture is different than the one above? I just... I love this, man. It, like, adds a little bit of newness to Minecraft that it really needed to crack that, uh... Crack that old, uh... Sameness that Minecraft's had for a long time. Very interesting. So I was looking at all the different types of helmets over here, and I noticed there's a Golderite, Blazerite, Enderite, Prismarite, and it looks like all of these things, so you can combine a Prismarite ingot and a diamond helmet, and for this you need a Netherite ingot, you need a Prismarite essence, which you need Dragon's Breath, and I can't figure out how do you make a Dragon's Breath. Like, I have no idea how to make a dragon's breath, but there's all these different, like, tiers of netherite that we get to work through, which is really fun. So that's stuff I'll have to do outside research about, or you guys can help me in the comments, but it should be about day now. It's been about ten minutes, so let's head outside. And uh, yes, it actually is. Wow. I was kind of, uh, <laughs> I kind of lost confidence for a second. I was like, I don't know if it's ever going to be day. You know, just, just a few zombies to fend off at the moment, so nothing nothing terrible at all. I do like how it shows the, in the top left corner when you're killing a mob. Well, so he's just another dog. He's still another Sheba, okay. You're very interesting, I don't know, what do you like? Do you like bones, like the wolves, or <laughs> I don't really know how to tame you. So I'm going to clear this area out, I'm going to start on a build. I may build something kind of cottagey, I feel like that's, I feel like that's the move in an area like this, but I'm really not sure. I'm not sure. We're, I'm having an, a wave of inspiration on what to build. And it's going to be very natural if I'm not bothered by skeletons. Yeah, that's right. Step out into the flames. Okay. Goodbye, sir. Let me get some materials and let's start on this. Okay, well, I just died. I was gathering some dacite so I could build something. And I got killed by a zombie. So that's interesting. I think... Oh, okay. So we'll spawn in this house. And I assume our, yes, I can see our death point on the mini-map. We're really not that far from our house, so I'm going to run back over there. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate I just died like that, but, you know, we're not in hardcore, and I'm sure... Oh, look at this! We got a bird! Hello! What kind of... Okay. Okay, goodbye. Well, we probably a crow. It sounded like a, a crow. But look at these. Different colors of cows. That looks like the default. That looks like a more, like, tinted version, but he had a... The baby looks normal. I don't even know. But yeah, I'll, I'll get back to our house. It's really not that far away. Look at the rain. I got I got to look at that, man. Oh. I could sit here on my porch if I made a porch on my house and just watch this. Wow. I'm, I'm in shock. Okay. We're almost back here. It's really not that far from where that bed was. Oh, and look. The, the, the holly tree just grew. Now, in hindsight, I probably should have grabbed the bed that I spawned near. But hey, it's okay. It's fine. I'm not too concerned about it. I'm... Is that my body? <laughs> Neo, no. <laughs> He's dead. What are we going to do? What am I going to do? <laughs> it's an interesting sight. Okay, well, let me uh, transfer items. Oh, that's so nice. So it puts it all back in there. 
Hey, can I can I make this go away or does this despawn naturally? I'm I'm not really sure. If I break the blocks below it, can, can we bury myself? I think his legs might be caught on here. So does the body just float forever or can we <laughs> Okay, so you, you you could technically bury your body. I'm very sorry, man. I don't know. He's just kind of sitting there. He looks fine to be fair. He's just a little Oh, okay, so we took his stuff and his... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to question it. I am going to mine quite a bit of this dacite stuff, because I think this is going to be a big structural block we're going to need. So I'm going to be doing this for a while. I'll come back in just a bit when I have gathered enough. Probably a couple of pickaxes worth, to be fair. All right, well, that's my last pickaxe, and I'm pretty sure we got enough stuff. So we have lots of this dacite cobblestone, lots of this mossy cobblestone, which I absolutely love. And then I think we're going to go with an actual structure made of Hollywood. I'm glad that most of them have grown back. I still can't get over the fact that the trees fall. It's seriously so nice, but I got to get over it. If you want to make any progress in today's episode, we got to get over it. I got to go make myself another axe, too. You know, it's really funny. I get in here, and then I realize I already had a bunch made. I just I just didn't pull one out of my inventory. So that's okay. Oh, you're trying to ambush me. Maybe this is the guy who killed me. Yeah, in fact, it probably is. So let's go ahead and get rid of him. Goodbye, sir. I will see you later. Are you are you another one of the same group who tried to uh, kill me? Maybe we should light this cave up just a little bit. We are in 1.19, so spawn mechanics do apply. This looks beautiful. We'll explore that tomorrow's episode. I'm going to try to do about three of these a weekend. I don't know exactly the number, but the reason there wasn't very many last time is my wedding was last month. I had a kidney stone last month. It was very busy last month. And of course, it's becoming dark right when I want to quit, <laughs> right when I want to start working. We could try to find ourselves a sheep around here or something like that. I don't know how much luck uh, we're really going to have. So let me figure this out and I'll come back. Okay, it's dark and I'm running. I realize now this may have been a bad idea because I don't have any food. I might die. I, I saw something over here and it looked like it m maybe it can help. It looked like a house. I was running for shelter, and now there's hundreds of mobs after me. Please don't do it to me. Please don't do it to me. This is not even a house. What even is this? It is It is. A, it is a sign. I found a giant crystal. I, I am almost dead. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Help me. Uh, a Lumite crystal. That's great and all. I don't really need that. I was hoping that there was a house in here. This forest almost looks better than where I said I wanted to live. Maybe we'll come live over here. I don't know. This would be kind of magical. Okay, well now there's a grizz. I'm just going to... I'm just going to do it. Good night. Okay, guys. I just checked, and it looks like it's more day now. I can't run. So if I die... <laughs> I'm going to take a bed. I'm just... I'm, I'm going to take a bed. I didn't want to. I wanted to, I wanted to, to do this on my own, but I'm going to take a bed after that. <laughs> I waited all night. I got out, and I died. Let's build this house. I'll meet you guys at my body, I guess. I, I don't I don't know what else to call it. It's literally just my body. I'll meet you there. Okay, well, here's the forest. We tried to traverse at night and uh, unfortunately failed. And looks like our body is... Oh, oh, okay, Mr. Grizzly Bear. Okay, I am very sorry. I did not I did not mean to do that. It looks like our body is over here. Yes, there it is. <laughs> oh, how we were running. Okay, now we can transfer our items that'll go away on its own. I think, honestly, I, like after thinking about it more, I think I'm going to move. I want to make sure I'm really happy with where I'm going to live. And I have a lot of materials, but I don't know. I feel like maybe because I've died so many times here <laughs> that I'm getting the, the wrong idea about it. it. It looks nice, but I feel like there's so many more biomes for us to explore that it can get even nicer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything I think I'm going to need... Like a furnace and a crafting table, we might as well leave those there. Um, I am going to grab all the books. Like some of these plants and stuff we can probably get more of. I do want to take some holly tree saplings. Um, these books seem like they're very important, so we're going to take those. Um, we're going to need food. If we could make a backpack, that would be awesome. But like a couple... Those seem like they're actually really good. Some of these extra tools, too, I think we can, we can put away for now. Um, but beyond that, I mean, a, a lot of this stuff, we, it's, it's not that hard to get. So I'm going to adventure on. I'm going to try to find a spot I feel happier with. I wish I had bread. I don't know where it went. I must have eaten it, probably. 
Um, maybe we can find an animal to unfortunately kill and get some food. Because we really don't have any food. We're, we're, we're kind of low on everything. We do have a whole pile of sweet berries. I just don't like eating them, man. I feel like they'd give you nothing. But I'm going to run in this direction. I'm going to come back when I find something truly beautiful that I definitely want to live at. I don't want to settle. I don't want to settle. Okay, well, this is interesting. I have found a... Uh... Are those vexes? Is it a vex spawner? You know, I feel like... Okay, maybe... let's just run. <laughs> Never mind. I see some skulk down here. I can probably fall into this. Um, I see some skulk down here. I found this ravine not too far from where we were. That's a lot of mobs. Oh, and I look at the skeleton. I like froze, man. I looked at it. I was like, oh, no way he can hit me from here. But you could see some skulk. I gotta get this cat. Dang it. Sorry, I heard, I heard something fall in my house, and I assumed it was a cat doing something. But I can't find any evidence. So I guess they can continue their uh, mischievous activities. This looks like a nice cave, but I don't really want to live in a cave. I just came down here because I saw this skulk, and I was like, I really want to look at that. But in hindsight, I don't think I'm prepared. <laughs> Even if there was like an ancient city down here, probably don't want to go there at this current time. I used to have a pickaxe. I, d I don't know where it went. I guess we used it. Oh, that's right. Actually, we did. Ooh. Look at the Hollywood crafting table. That's actually really nice. I'm just trying to make sure that creeper isn't going to creep up on us. But that looks really cool. I'm just going to dig my way out of here. Actually, I have cobblestone. We're just going to build our way out of here. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to keep exploring. Okay. Well, it looks like we found another woodland mansion. And, you know, honestly, this one looks a lot better. What is this? That, that, that has a bunch of witches on the mini-map. Let's not go there. But look at this woodland mansion. Like, doesn't that look so cool? It gets a lot better of a, of a woodland mansion than, than the normal one. I don't even know if that's what it is, but if it is, that's a much upgraded version. Like, that looks really good. And it even uses the default assets, like the pillager outpost. That looks pretty cool, man. Again, I don't really want to live there, but it does have something I want. Which is, it looks like... That's a big fi Is it a koi fish or is it just like a fish? Okay, it just says. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, I like that there's actual, like, big fish in the game. Because in the real world, there's big fish. I'm just going to make a boat and we're going to sail this river. What was that? Oh, supports. Dude, that's so cool. I'm so excited to build. I just want to find an area that I really, really like. Because I felt like I was settling in that area. Because I, I had been looking for. You know, a little bit of time, and I was getting impatient. But I don't want that to be the case. We have an infinite world, an infinite time. We're just going to explore. This looks like the default jungle. Probably not going to live in a default biome. I, I feel like there's so many more options with this biomes mod. So we're going to pass on this, although that does look cool. I may actually pick up a couple of these miniature melons. We're not exploring any structures yet because I am definitely not equipped. What is this? You guys see this? Is this a banana tree? A banana bundle? I will take that. I, I guess this is... Oh, this says you need a hoe to break it. Oh, okay. And it uh, looks like... Oh, look at that, guys. What is this? A, oh, the crafting menu. Okay. W w wait, what is this one, then? Arcs. I, I, I don't know what that is. But we have a banana bunch. Can we eat those? Oh. Okay. Oh, the banana peel goes onto the ground. Oh, it's slippery, too. Oh, look at... Look at... <laughs> We have slipping. That is, that is the effect that we have is is called slipping. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like a real banana, man. You know, because banana peels totally do that. Oh, looks like there's something on the side here. Do we get to climb faster? Or something? I, I don't know what that means. It looks like a, a little monkey face on a ladder. That is very interesting. Well, cool. Okay, I guess we found a banana tree. A banana frond. Interesting. Are there more banana trees around here? Those, those are actually kind of fun. Oh, dude. Maybe we'll live near a jungle, but not in the jungle. I don't know. But at least we have... Uh, these seem like a better source of food than what we were eating. Is there monkeys, then? Is that is that what these are over here? Are these monkeys? What are these? Oh, I was just seeing brown mushrooms. Okay. Never mind. I thought I saw monkeys. I was like, dude, if there's monkeys in this... <laughs> that's so much fun. We can we can live amongst the monkeys. We can make a little uh, is there a tree house or something in the jungle. That'd be kind of fun. 
Is that what I think it is? Sir, may we, may we please pass? Can I pass? Ah, uh, get wrecked. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was okay. Oh man, now we're back at the default spawn point. You know what, buddy? We didn't we didn't make it that far, did we? He's like, I've seen many traveler around. Okay, so where did we go on this map? So we went over here. We were gonna live in this snowy area. And then we traveled in a river. And then we died. <laughs> so we're actually closer, I guess. So that's where the creepy purple thing is. Oh, okay, so we gotta go over here. Man, you know, I, I wish I didn't do that. But maybe, maybe, hey, maybe this this is a good thing. Okay, maybe we can find a faster way to get over there. Maybe if we make a boat from these materials. What is that shore over there? Hold on. I see something that I must show you before I go off the camera again. One moment here. I just need three logs to make a boat. Look at this. This looks like magical seashores. Could there be something? No, there is There is pillagers on that ship. I was going to say, is there, maybe there's something on there for me. No, I, I don't think so. I think there's there's things ready to kill me, though. But I was going to say, look at this over here. It looks like magical shores. Like, what is this? Purple sand. Look at it, dude. Oh, that's beautiful. So, what can you craft with purple sand? Purple sand. Okay. What does it craft, though? What does it smelt into? Glass? Well, which one, man? <laughs> which one does it... I guess it'll, it'll become purple glass, which makes sense. What is this? Okay, now, what it... <laughs> is this really what we need to be going into right now? No, but we definitely want to mark this on the staircase. So we're going to call this... Create waypoint. We're going to call it... Um, underwater staircase. Okay, so that way we have an underwater staircase marker. I was gonna make a boat, and I'm just gonna go back to get my stuff. I shouldn't have hit the alligator. To be fair, did we get a we got an achievement called Chompy Encounter a Crocodile? Maybe we wouldn't have gotten that achievement if we hadn't done that. Hmm. Potentially. So I'm gonna go to our death point. I'll meet you guys there. Can't believe we did that. I'm so stupid. I <laughs> just watch watch that clip back. Where I always say, oh my god, after I died. I'm 99%. You know that meme's like, oh my god. <laughs> you know where the guy's like singing? I did not do it right. But you know where the guy's like singing and he's, he said, oh. Okay, well, I know where we're living. I know where we're living. This is beautiful. You can't really see it because it's dark, but it's like a pink forest. Oh yeah, we're leaving, we're leaving there. There's a pirate ship offshore, which we must conquer. What happens if I swim near this in my little boat? Hello, sailors. How are you doing today? They're all looking at me. <laughs> How? Ah! Ah! Why are you shooting me? Whoa! What are you shooting me? What is that? Okay. 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 Those are true pirates, man. They were shooting me with like red flaming arrows. Am I going to be able to get back to my stuff? I mean, how far am I? Oh, I'm really far. That boat didn't help me at all. Okay. Okay. Note to self: pirates are not friendly. It's dark and I'm scared and there is a there is a skeleton wolf and creepers. I am so I'm so screwed. I'm not in a good position and I don't know what to do. Oh, okay, I'm pro I When in doubt do what you think you shouldn't. Oh, no. Well, this isn't going to end well. Let's get out of there. I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> How do we get back to get our stuff? Is there stuff worth it? It was just a bunch of stone tools, but I feel like I, I have to get my stuff. But is running around at night really the best option for me? Well, to be honest with you, it seems like the only option. If there was a house or something, I would totally use the bed. And uh, that would be great and all, but I, I, I don't see anything. Right when we need a structure, there are none. This part of the world looks beautiful. I'm definitely living near where that cherry blossom forest is. What is this over here? Sorry, I, I keep just seeing things in the distance. Oh, this one's blocked by a, a great foe, the great skeleton archer. Please don't hurt old feeble Neo. Dude, look at this. What is this? It's like lime green grass and jacaranda. What? Flowering jacaranda bush. 
Well, this is a very interesting looking biome. Honestly, man, what is this? Okay, so oh, I see a house. See, okay, so these little things spawn and they'll point towards stuff. So a thousand blocks in this direction is something. I don't know what, and I, I think that's that's where that see that house in the distance. That's like a jacaranda. It looks like a giant mushroom or something. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> it, do, it's, it doesn't sound right, but honestly, I'm pretty sure it is. Indigo jacaranda bush. That's so cool. But I saw this house over here. Oh, just a lone, a lone bamboo. Please don't, skeleton. I know you could, but like, I'm so close to finally not having to deal with... My game crashed, but I'm still journeying back. It is day now. And I was looking through my menu. I wanted to look at all the different kind of planks there were. Look how many just planks there are. You know what kind of build pallets we can do with this, man? Like, all of these woods right here are kind of similar. Oh, dude, I'm so excited to build with more than just oak wood. So we are close to our old spawn point. I'm hoping that the alligator is not there anymore. I mean, the game, the whole world had to reload because it crashed. So hopefully... The alligator crashed as well. We don't have to deal with that. I see our body floating in the water. <laughs> I also see our boat. Oh, he's still there. He was underwater. He was underwater. Okay, if if we're nice, maybe he will just not. Yep. Okay, what what did it not transfer? I feel like I want to kill him now. I just don't. I, don't, I have one arrow. Was this a bad idea? Can he go on land? Okay, he can kind of go on land. He's sitting there. I feel like we're we're at the advantage if we're in the tree. But now we're stuck in a tree. You know what? No. I, I'm too good at parkour to let this happen. We're getting in the boat and we're going. Sayonara, buddy. Bozo. I feel kind of bad, but at the same time, I just don't know what I can do with that. I, I don't think I can fight the alligator and redeem myself, but... It's okay. I'm only- my ego is only slightly bruised from that encounter. And I must journey on- did I bring- I did bring my bed. Good. Hey, look, I'm- Well, this- this bridge actually kind of works. It goes between, like, a- two- two areas that you couldn't normally traverse. Nice. So, I'm looking on my map and- Oh, I see pan- Oh, oh I see monkeys. Hold on. Okay, I have to- I have to go look at the monkeys. I know it's silly. But this is something I have to do, okay? I know we haven't done a whole lot. We're gonna do a whole lot in this series. But there's so much to explore, so please do forgive me that I haven't built a house yet. We will do it before the episode's over. Yes, the episode may be over an hour long, but I'm having too much fun to make it into two episodes. I don't want to do that to you guys. So here's the panda. And presumably there are monks over here. Let's go, dude! Okay, they're chimpanzees. You know what? They, they look like monkeys. We're just going to call them monkeys. And, uh... Would you guys like some help? Would you guys like me to... Oh, you seem to have no trouble with that. Well, check this out. Look, I have stone tool. Yes, stone tool. I wonder if I could, like, help them. Oh, look, even you throw items. Look, they... 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 Ker, 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 ker plunk into the water. Interesting. Okay, so 15 sticks is kind of... Eh. Do you guys want some bananas? Oh, they really want the bananas. Well, here you go, and here you go. No way, dude. No way, dude. Let's go. I made a baby monkey. <laughs> my life, my life is now complete. I have, I have created more monks. Okay. So I like the jungle. I don't want to live in a bamboo. What, what did I just pick up? An acorn. Can I eat it? Oh. That does not seem like it would be the most appealing food, but okay, I'm just going to consume an acorn. Which is kind of weird, because these are jungle trees, and I don't think they would... You know what? I'm not going to question it. Oh my gosh, what are... What are you? Are you from the, the lush? Okay, 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 okay. That was a cheetah or something. We're going to avoid that. We are going to... Ooh, a melon. Okay. I, I will take you. I'm very hungry. I've been s sustaining off of the the gifts of Mother Nature for far too long. I need to make a food factory soon. I want my own factory. Now, that looks cool. What in the world is that? I'm so excited to explore all these things. 
I just see this in the distance. Is that like a giant tree? I gotta zoom in. What is that? That is the strangest looking thing. Okay. Okay, it looks like a tree house, kind of, but but more... I, 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 don't, I don't know. You know what? This continent has not been nice to me. I'm just going to swim across the ocean blue, and the first landmass I hit is where I'm going to live. Maybe. I don't know. But we're just going to swim across the ocean, and uh, I'll skip that part. But that thing's pretty cool looking, man. I don't know what that is, but pretty nice. Now, I was just singing about the ocean off camera, you know. And I see it. That looks like an old rig. You know, I'm from Oklahoma. We know all about that old money. And uh, we also see... <laughs> yeah, you like your little ship here. But, I mean, hey, honestly, I can't laugh at him. Because do you see my ship? His ship is much larger. Um, but <laughs> it's just funny because he's just going to sit here forever. Delfina. You uh -huh. trade 20 string. Okay, so your trades are kind of okay. What do you have in here? Respiration one. I'm not going to steal your stuff. Because it looks quite valuable. <gasps> Ooh, now that looks cool. That is the first landmass we hit. You know what, Delphina? I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to give you a couple of snowberries for the troubles. And I will see you later. Okay? Yep, okay. Okay. <laughs> she looked up, I guess. I do want to know what's over here. What? What is this? This looks very interesting. It's a uh, a small island home. A moog. <laughs> okay. Oh, you have no trades. Okay, I see. Um, some TNT. I, again, I'm not going to steal their stuff. I'm trying to survive on my own, okay? Because one thing I did read about this mod pack is that you can get a lot of stuff from these structures. And, like, in until you're further in the game, you probably shouldn't just go around and steal all their stuff. Because then you don't actually have to play. And that's not what I want to do. Because it seems like these are a little overpowered. There is some iron tools, some iron nugget, some iron stuff in here. And maybe iron wouldn't be super overpowered. I, you know what? M maybe we'll take some. Like, I'm not going to take any diamonds, okay? But if I can make a few a few tools, whatever. Some water breathing. This is a good place to go back to, though. When we have, uh, when we have some more stuff. Because there is, like, one diamond in here. I'll take the iron, because I could just go mine iron in, like, two seconds. But this looks absolutely beautiful. Like, this is a very, very beautiful biome. We're for sure living... Oh, dude, it just it just pushed me over the edge when that when that waterfall came out of that, like, pink and blue sand little... Oh, dude, I want to swim around this in the boat. Sorry, I want to drive around this in the boat. Because this looks beautiful, dude. Wow. Oh, and there's, like, a flower meadow behind it. Oh, yeah, dude. For sure living there. Okay, we're, we'll park our boat there. Probably never to be seen again. Rest in peace. Boat number three that's helped us on our journey. Oh, this is so pretty. And look at these. Some cyan amaranth. That's beautiful. Is that amaranth? Amaranth. Okay. I'm just, I, I feel like that's a flower. I know it's a flower in real life. Oh, this biome is so cool. I just don't know how to get up into it. You know what I mean? I don't want to like break its beautiful stonical structure. Okay, I, I don't want to start p pillaring up the side of it, but I wanted to see. Oh, dude, this is this is where I want to live. <laughs> much more beautiful, much more beautiful. If I had a water bucket, ooh, okay. Actually, you know what? Is there any other kind of backpack I could build? Is there any? Is there any other backpack? Okay, oak backpack shelf. That's not what I want. So a backpack again. I don't have a rabbit hide. Is there a way I can craft rabbit hide? Oh, one leather can become four rabbit hide. Okay, and then we need string and iron. We don't have string, but we do have the iron. Dude, this is a beautiful, beautiful biome. Oh, this is insane. <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm just overwhelmed, okay? I, I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but I feel like it's the first episode. We, we have to be in a little bit of shock and awe after seeing some stuff like this. I have to live on a mountain up there. I, I I just know it. That's what I have to do. Looks like little water pools up on top of these. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, goal number one. We're going to make a crafting table, and we're going to craft a bucket. That is going to be goal number one. I know that I threw that on the ground. I'll pick it up momentarily. Um, we'll drop some dirt, and then we'll pick that up. We'll drop dirt. Yeah, there we go. I just heard a bird... I guess we'll eat this acorn. 
such a strange thing. I know it's becoming dark again, but I do have a bed with me. I was going to check what is on the other side of this hill. Oh, okay. So we're really high up here now. Oh, okay. And we can make our own bed if we wanted to. Nice. I just wanted to check and see what was around here. Because this is definitely where we're going to be living. And it looks like we can play and have a monkey army. It looks like there's going to be some monkeys over there. Okay. Well, I did see a little water spigot coming from inside one of these mountainsides. I'm going to grab that piece of water and we're just going to water our way up there. It might be like in the last series where we use water to get up and down temporarily. But I want to build like a nice wooden staircase. Because it looks like there was wooden supports that you built. Um, I don't have any planks with me or I'd show you. I think the water is right in there. So it is going to get dark, but I'm hoping that once I get on top of one of these, we won't really have to deal with a whole lot of mobs since, you know, we're like, I don't know. Maybe we will. Oh, this was not nearly as tall as I thought. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. I can still get up here. It's just going to take a while. So I'll, I'll, I'll meet you guys when I'm at the top. Okay. Okay, I think we're here. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. And we have our own little, like, secluded area up here. You can see Delphina down there in her wonderful boat. Maybe we'll give her a boat upgrade as a thank you for allowing us to uh, board her boat for just a moment. Uh, we did quickly leave, to be fair. And we can put some animals down here. Oh, this is kind of cool, man. This is kind of cool, man. I really like this. I don't know exactly. I guess we'll live in the water now, or, or maybe we'll build a house above. I don't really know. I do know first things first. I got to make some chests, man. My inventory has been bugging me for, uh, well, basically since we left that other area because it has just been an absolute mess. Now, I really like this Hollywood, so we can definitely plant that up here. It's just it's going to be a little tricky. Um, maybe we'll just make a little chest stack for now. And we'll just start putting stuff up. So we'll put, again, blocks in one chest and items in another. Okay, and let's sleep. Ah, <sighs> feels nice, man, to finally have an area to call it home. Let me tell you. Okay, so it's going to be a little tricky for a while to get up and down from here. Um, do we want to live on just a singular one? Maybe. Or maybe we want to find a little bit of an easier area. But I feel like this is so beautiful. And we have our very own little mountain to look around on. I just don't know how to build this house. I don't know. Um, we do have these holly saplings. Let's go ahead and plant these. Because I know I'm going to want a bunch more of this wood. Uh, we probably don't want these up here. So we can go ahead. Okay, so they kind of decay on their own. That's perfect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is seriously the craziest animation to watch. It's seriously so cool. And it makes it so much easier. Oh, there's a... Was that a... What? Is that a fly? Yeah, it's literally a fly. Can you can you go away? What did you drop? A maggot. Can you eat that? A light snack, it says. Yeah, it's very pretty light. A half hunger each. Jeez, dude, you have to eat like millions of those. But hey, it, it is something. It is something. So let me clear this stuff out real quick. Some of these turned to normal leaves. Some of them made the falling leaves. So I'll clear it out and then it'll come back. Okay, so I just thought of this plan. I definitely want to live up here. But I want to have a big bridge connecting me over to like maybe that one and that one. That way I have like more than one little area. But this is where my main house is going to be. Now, I don't know exactly how the house is going to look quite yet. And it's kind of hard to like build a house up here because this whole area is pretty like You know, it's it's not flat, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of these blocks. I Think like cobblestone We could do normal cobblestone mossy cobblestone And I don't think I want to mix any wood in here and maybe we could make like a nice base in here to work with So if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna have to do the good old Logitech uh, the Logitech scramble on this that way it'll look better and then I unlock my scroll wheel and I can just start building like this and that way we get a nice palette down for the base of the house because I want the house to have like a nice like I don't know we'll figure out what to do with the underwater area at a later point in time I'm not really so concerned about it at this point in time it's it's not a big deal to me it looks cool but like it's not useful for a house situation so I'm gonna make myself a normal house just on top of this mountain. Okay, 
So we have a nice little base for us to work with. Let's go ahead and clear out the top of this. And I don't know exactly what I'm building. I really don't. Um, I had an idea of what to build, but I don't really have enough of these stone materials. I think what I'm going to do is kind of build a base up with this stuff, maybe around here a little bit. So maybe I'll go ahead and like have these and do something like this and uh, go around here and make this a little bit wider. But then if I do that, I'm kind of locked into that shape. So I think I'm going to just build around this. You'll see what I'm doing in, in just a little bit here. I don't have like an exact structure in mind, but I know that I want this to be a little bit raised off the ground. And I also want it to feel like it's kind of a part of the ground coming out of it. I don't know. I have something good in mind. It's just, it's tricky to like verbalize if that makes sense. So we'll see it in just a moment here. Just give me a little bit of time to work with this. And uh, hopefully you'll come back and I'll have something pretty amazing for you guys ready to show you. That's the plan. That's the plan. I may, I may completely and utterly fail, but at least I tried something, right? At the end of the day, all you can do is try, guys. All you can do is try. Okay. I actually already really like this. So you're probably a little bit confused, like, Neo, what are you talking about? So I'm going to go in here. We're going to take some of these holly logs that we have, and we're going to kind of make them spr sprout out of this little base. You'll see in a second here. So let's go over here, and we're just going to add these kind of around this, and we're going to build a base. I think it'll make more sense once I build it. So let me get to that. Okay, so... There is something down here. I'm not sure. Is it this block? Oh, I see. This block is glitching through that other block. Okay. I was like, what is this noise? Can you can you cease and desist? Your infinite falling. Thank you, my good sir. I appreciate you. Now, I realize now I don't know how to get back up. <laughs> Just kind of the funny thing, so I'll figure that out. Okay, so I have these little logs jutting out from here, and I saw that there were supports. Now, I don't know exactly how these work, but in my mind, they look like... Oh, okay, that's actually really cool. Yeah, I can see I can see a lot of use for those. Now, can you place them? Yeah, okay, so they can kind of... Can they connect like this? And like if I put one on the other side, can they connect like that? Oh, okay. Interesting. So I think what I'm going to be doing in here, this is a temporary block, is I'm going to kind of mold this into the wall. I know. You guys are probably like, Neo, what on earth are you talking about? And it's going to make a lot more sense here in a moment, I think. I'm going to mold this into the wall. I don't want it to feel like this is just a house that is just kind of built on top of a rock mound. I want it to feel like this is like part of the, the rock. And you built this house. I don't know. I, I I I don't know exactly yet, but I have some interesting ideas. That's. <laughs> Let me build it real quick. I mean, look, guys. Th they already added hanging signs, which is really cool. There's a sign post. There's holly benches. There's shelves. There's steps. Drawers. That's so cool, man. There's so much stuff. Or I click with an X to cycle, so we can make banisters, a seat. How do you make like this, for example? Like, I, I just want to play around with some of these blocks, but I hope you kind of see what I mean. It's it's not like it's a part of it. It's like it's coming out of it, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? I don't know. Something like that. I'll, I'll, I'll work with it in a moment. What? Is that not? Oh, that's the table. So how do I make the banister? A sled? I, I don't really need a sled. Where was this? No. Wasn't that, was it? No, the, not the seat. A palisade. What is that? Is that the uh, sideways slab, perhaps? Is that what this is? That made a jungle one. How did I make it? Oh, I must have used... Oh, I had jungle wood with me. Oh. See, now that's really cool. We could add texture to the outside of the build with that really easily. Those are really cool. But there is something in here called a banister that... Oh, there it is. Oh, so it's slabs in those. Okay. There's so many different little recipes in here. No, I thought that was banister. Am I, dude, am I going crazy, man? Hold on. A flower box. Cabinet. 
There's so many things in here, dude. Okay, banister. Holly slabs and sticks makes a banister, okay? So holly slabs and sticks make a shelf. You know what? I'm just going to I'm I'm I I do, oh 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 there's two recipes. I see. I see because they're from two different mod packs. Okay. I wanted to see what what are these exactly? Okay, so these look like they give you they're like kind of like fences, but they may also end up giving you some more supports as well to work with. Interesting. I'm just excited to try all this stuff, guys. I feel like I'm a kid in a candy shop at the at the building candy shop and we're going to see what we can come up with. Cuz I'm also curious, can I make is there a way I can do anything with this, uh, this, what is, how do you spell it? Dacite. Let me look. Okay. Well, that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and make quite a few of these. And then I want to make those supports as well. Some of those. I'm just trying, I'm trying to work with everything in here. And this was tables, which we can probably use some in a little bit. But I want to make some more of these slabs. I'm sorry, I'm, sh I'm showing crafting because there's so much new stuff that I don't want to, I don't want you guys to feel like you're missing. And we're gonna make a ton of these, okay? Well, we can only make nine. But I hope you guys kind of see where I'm going with this. And you're probably like, Neo, I have no idea where you're going with it, but that's perfect. You're you're long for the journey, which is how it should be in a Let's Play. Okay. So, oh, oh, okay, our trees are growing, which is good. Thank you. That can actually help us with what we're trying to accomplish. So it's not that, I, I don't want this whole thing to feel like it's, Okay, so it breaks from the top down. That's probably a good thing. I want this whole area to feel alive. Now, this is a little bit too alive for me. Um, I assume, yeah, this works for stone tools. That just makes sense. That's something in better Minecraft. It just makes sense. And we can, contra we can traverse through those leaves. Okay, we don't want to fall. I don't really have a way to get back up. I could put that there, but then we waste a holly log. I guess that'll be okay. We have plenty of those. Freya is now... Uh, She's now the kind of cat, she thinks she can just be on my desk whenever she wants. So she now hangs out with me on my desk, which is cute, but it gets hair and fur everywhere, which is not great. I'm not sure if I want to leave. I, I may end up leaving some of these leaves around, but like I, I don't obviously want like all these leaves, if that makes sense. But maybe like a few of them around is fine. There we go. Just like that. Now I wanted to see with these, can I kind of like, oh, okay, so they just directly connect. Which is fine, because I, I, I want this build to have more texture. I don't want it to be so flat. So I wanted to kind of make it look like it was together with... That's too many. I wanted it to feel like it was together with all this stone. I hope this is making some sense. I know it's probably a little like, uh, Neo, why are you just putting a bunch of random blocks? But that's the thing. That's the thing about some texturing. You just want to kind of... Put stuff down where it feels right. Now, this is going to be a problem. This is going to fall onto my house. Oh, no. Okay. Luckily, these are really easy to break. The mod creators were very smart when they did this. And they made them very easy to break. Yeah, something like that. And I'm thinking, since we, we want that bridge over here, we're going to want our actual entrance, like, right here. Which should be pretty easy to do. And it's in a good spot, too. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to move these chests because we don't really want them right here right now. And, uh, oh, and we can probably put all of our, like, you know, wooden stuff into this chest for right now. That way we can get right back into building. Okay, now obviously this is not the permanent setup and this is quite a small home. Um, and it's not done. But at least we have everything somewhat organized. We can go ahead, we could just put a crafting table down. But let's grab all of our wooden materials and let's start to figure out how we want... So how do these interact with the side of a block? Oh, okay, so they can stick directly to it. That's actually really cool. That means, I mean, you, we can literally just add more texture to the house. And you may, you may think that it looks bad, but trust me, in due time, I think you'll learn to love this. I think it's really cool, actually. The fact that you can put all these blocks... Just kind of randomly on things for texture. Now, I'm sure they have a greater purpose, right? Um, for example, I'm pretty sure we can use them to step stone up here. Now, it looks like this is a half block higher, so we could do this. And then we'd have to walk onto the edge, which is fine. But up here, we want a roof, right? We're obviously not just going to have these raw logs and this raw wood sticking up. But I need another material. 
And uh, there is a lot of woods near us. Maybe we can go down there and get some of that wood that's kind of purple. That might be cool. And all we got to do to get up and down at this current time is if we just put a water bucket, then we can just swim all the way back up. So we'll do that for now. Maybe we'll go explore what this is real quick. And before I end up dead, I should probably sleep in my bed. So our waterfall should be making it down here about now. I'm going to go right click on my bed. I'm going to set my spawn point. I'm going to kill the fly. No one needs the flies. And then we're going to go get some of that cool looking wood. And we're going to see what that's all about. So our spawn point is set. This should be all the way down now. You would think it's a little risky what I'm doing, but it works. Nice, dude. And I bet that waterfall looks absolutely magnificent with all the particles. Now, when you're, when you're kind of far away, you know, it doesn't spawn them all. But the closer you can get, you can see you get a little bit more detail. Now, I do have two axes. Good. Now, what is this wood color? That's the only thing. I don't want to use it if it's some really weird color. But like, what color does this turn into? Oh, that's actually fine. These two woods are so similar that they fit in a palette together actually really nicely. I like that a lot. Oh, this is the jacaranda. Oh, okay. Well, cool. And it, and it looks nice when you break a tree down. I mean, in real life, you know, it, it would leave a bunch of stuff on the ground. So the, the mod developers, when they made this, were really thoughtful of how the real world works. And I really like that. That is a big deal to me. Cool. Okay, well, I'll meet you guys back up at the house. We just needed, like, a few materials like that. I may end up getting a few more things. I don't really know what we need at this point. Maybe we should start some somewhat of a mine or something. We could do that down here. But we're going to need some sort of staircase to get up to our house because we can't use this water bucket forever. We can't use it forever. Okay, well, we're back up here. And we have a lot of options for how we want to do the roof. And like I said, you can see all the little particles coming off of it now. It just looks so cool. It looks so neat. And I just love that when I hop in the water, I actually get to see it. So let's use some of the jacaranda wood and let's make a door. What does the door look like? Okay. Nice little texture on the door. Oh, and it actually fits flush. That's kind of nice. So I think this is the banister. I'm pretty sure. Or Sorry, the palisade. And it looks like it's almost like a wall made of wood. And we could even go with another wood type. And we can even make some more of these out of the jacaranda wood. Just to give it even more texture. Use some of the holly as well. And then I wonder what sort of... Hold on. Let's look at holly again. Wally. <laughs> uh, what can we use? Maybe... I don't want to use trap doors. I feel like we could use maybe seats. Could seats work? I mean, we need fence for those. Which is not like hard to make. But I'm curious if we made some of this out of this. Okay, and then we made some of this out of this. I'm going to make 18 of each. And how do I make the seats again? A slab of each wood type. So holly. We're going to need a few more slabs of this. Okay. So that makes seats. And then we need some slabs of this. Okay, and then we put this below it. And then we have so much wood now. <laughs> we have so much wood now. I'm curious, could you make this into like a roof? Eh, you kind of could, actually. That's kind of what I'm going for. It actually looks really cool. Kind of like a pergola, almost. As the roof in the front. And we're going to kind of mold this and texture it together. And see if we can't come up with something really cool. So, I think I made... I didn't make more... No, I did make more palisade. There we go. And then we can do the seats. Can maybe even put a support here. And then let's go... Where are the seats at? Right here. And right here. And then let's build up a little bit. And then we can kind of just like put the seats like this. Now, are they going to go sideways? No. Okay. It's actually really cool. And we can kind of mix them in together. You know what I mean? Like some of these can be... Oh, how do I know what direction they're going to go? Oh, they go the direction you're facing. That makes sense. Just to kind of mix the wood types in a little bit. Do they go the way you're facing? So if I'm facing this way, then it should go this way. No. Wait, so then if I'm facing the other way... Okay, I don't know how it works yet. We will, we will learn eventually. It looks like sometimes it works that way, and then other times it's... 
Not that way? I, I don't really know. Okay, that's kind of interesting. And then we can bring down a support right here. Because it connects quite nicely and looks really good. And we'll do like one of these, one of these, and one of those. Oh, yeah. See, that actually looks pretty cool. And then this support right there kind of supports it in the front. Interesting. It's definitely a better house than what I'm used to. I think it looks pretty cool. Well, let's sleep. Let's build ourselves a roof, which I'm really not looking forward to because I'm just not very good at roofs. But I think we can come up with something pretty interesting. We have these supports, right? Which are, you know, not only for just building up randomly, but I think they might be good for a roof. But I don't know what kind of roof to do. That's why we got the jacaranda wood, just to kind of mix in here into the palette and make it look good. We'll go ahead and put all the supports around. And then we can find our way up here, I'm sure. There's got to be some path up to the roof. Yes, just like that. Perfect. And then we can use this stuff. And I'm just going to kind of build an outline. An outline of where I want the roof to be, which should be like one block out from where everything else is. So I'm going to go around and do that in just a bit. Okay, so I built that little outline here, and now I'm just going to build kind of like a pointed roof. Now, it has kind of an odd shape, which is fine. Um, I'll go back after the fact and texture it, but I'm basically just going to go up by two every time, and then I'll go inside one, and then up by two again. So that's what I'm currently doing at this moment in time. I don't want you to feel left out in the build process, but it's not a whole lot to see at this current time because I just have to kind of follow the same pattern all the way around the house. And then we go up. Oh, can I just place it on the side of a block? Oh, I see. So you can't. So you, so you can place blocks. Like, if I want to place one right there, you can see how those things pop up. Oh, kind of like how it is in Bedrock almost. That's actually really helpful. That's actually really, really helpful. You, Because, I mean, to be fair, you can always hang over the side of a block and place it. But sometimes you're in a situation where it's a tad bit more difficult. I actually really like that. Another little better version of Minecraft type of deal. And then I'll go in one diagonally again and up by two. So I'll continue doing this. Okay, so we're at the top of this roof and I don't want to just make it a normal roof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these all along. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay. I'm not sure why those ones have little pointy things up. How can I... Why are they, why do they look different now? How did I do that? Why, why, how did I, how did I? I'm so confused. Why do they look different now? They have like a... What did I do? <laughs> I guess I changed them and now they have a little pointy thingy. I'm not totally sure what I did. That's uh, that's definitely interesting. Maybe if if you click on them, or something. I, I don't I don't know. That that's that's okay. We'll just use the uh, the Hollywood seats then. That was interesting. I, I don't know. Someone can explain to me what happened, uh, but I don't. I definitely don't know what just happened there. So since we're in a nice arid environment, I feel like it's okay if the roof, you know. Just has little slits in the top to let all the hot air escape from our home. Okay. Something like that. And then maybe even put these on the side here. Just for the aesthetic. Now, it, I can't really look at the house from a far distance away. Because it's like, well, we can't really fly. We could, however, build off to the side just to see how it looks. Because when I take a screenshot, I'll have to go into spectator mode. Because otherwise it's impossible. There's no replay mod. But if we look at our house, oh, well, it's, it just looks kind of... <laughs> I'm not really sure, uh, to be honest with you. It looks kind of like a mushroom, in a way. But I don't really have a whole... You know what, for a starter house, we'll go ahead and say it's fine. I don't really have a whole lot of materials anyways. And to be fair, the biggest issue I have with the house, I can fix in like two seconds. Um, the roof doesn't really connect to the actual, like house it just kind of i don't really know what you'd call this so we're just going to kind of randomly place these in no particular order and then we can kind of i i i have an idea i have an idea we'll just put it that way so 
So something like this, make sure they're somewhat random, cool. And then we can probably go up above them. You know what I can do? If they don't connect in a corner, we can kind of connect them for ourselves. I'm just trying a bunch of new things in this, okay? I don't know what I'm doing, but we're just trying something new. And then we can put just like slabs or something like that. And then they'll be actually connected, if that makes sense. That way it doesn't feel like, oh, okay, so I could place further than that block. That's actually really nice, man. I really like these little quality of life improvements that they've added. Very, very helpful. Thank you, Better Minecraft Mod Pack Assemblers, for including these mods. No, I don't want to... Hmm. I guess I could just make another crafting... A little impromptu crafting table never hurt anyone. So we'll go ahead and do that. Make a few more of these slabs. I don't know if we'll need that many. Maybe 54 is probably enough. And then we'll look at this. And I bet it'll look a lot better. Because it didn't look like it was connected. And then especially from the inside, it was going to look really strange. And then down here, we'll kind of repeat the same thing. Where we have the slabs. And I think that'll lend to a really nice looking... Yeah, something like that. It also gives a lot more texture in here. Makes it not feel so flat. Yeah, that's really cool. And maybe we'll do something like that there. There we go. That way, the only holes are kind of in the top of the build. Now, if we look at it from the side, I bet it looks a lot better. You know what, actually? That does look pretty good. And we could go around, to be fair, maybe put some supports in. And maybe that would help with the build. I, I really don't know. There's so many little things, but then that doesn't connect to anything. So you could put another support on that side. And then it just looks like it's just kind of there. I don't know, man. I really, <laughs> I really don't know, but it, it definitely adds something to it. See, those aren't really connected, but that's okay. Interesting. Now, if I break this, is that going to fall into my roof? A little bit. <laughs> okay, maybe no, no more planting the holly trees up here. Yeah, now they're kind of falling onto my home a little bit. But maybe that's what I need around my house. It's just a little bit of a, a little bit of spruced, spruced upness. A little bit, a little bit of spruce life. I can't jump out of this, which is kind of confusing. It's so hard to navigate. Okay. Uh, we'll put a slab here and a slab there. We'll get our get ourselves out of there. So I think this is definitely a good end to the first episode. We have done quite a bit. I may end up removing that spruce because yeah, it's kind of a pain if you get stuck in it. Um, we've done quite a bit. We've explored quite a bit. I'm just happy that I'm in better Minecraft because this is really fun. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, my name is Neo or Lee. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe so you don't miss the future episodes. And if you do subscribe, make sure you turn on the notifications. That way you don't miss any future videos. I may end up modifying this house a little bit before the thumbnail because I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I may try to go get some stone or something like that. I may, I'm not going to play this unless I'm recording, of course. Um, I don't want you guys to miss anything. If I do anything, it's just going to be like super grindy, like going and gathering stone or something like that. But I don't want you guys to ever feel like you're missing out. That's the biggest thing with me is uh, that's to me. That's terrible when you're watching someone and then you feel like you're missing out. Not going to happen on my channel. So make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss all the adventures we go on in this series and uh, learn to play better Minecraft together. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see you around on the channel. Link to the mod pack is in the description if that's something you guys want to check out for yourselves. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow in episode two. Bye.